Hey, what's going on, Internet? Crisper here, and today I'm excited. We have an incredible video for all of the NFT space. The art generator has evolved, and for all of the monkey fans out there, today I'm going to do a tutorial video, an entire new series, on how to make a Bored Ape NFT collection strictly in Photoshop with no coding, metadata included. Yes, that's right. All right, everybody, pull your chairs up, kick back, hunker down, and let me show you how easy it has become to generate your own NFT collection simply with Photoshop. And at the same time, I'm going to give this one to all of the monkey people out there, the NFT ape people that love making the board ape stuff. <laughs> Back by popular demand, let's crush this whole monkey movement and move on to something cool, at least some 3D stuff. Uh, but for all the monkey people out there that are trying to catch up and understand, this is an educational tutorial on how to make an NFT collection strictly with Photoshop. And we're going to use the Bored Ape NFT as a base character strictly for educational purposes. Now, <laughs> you know... I know what the people want, so that's what I'm going to give them, all right? You know, these degenerators are out there, but, uh, you know, I'm going to supply you with the assets themselves. So, uh, if you go to um, the, if you go to the, dis uh, the comment, or the description, if you go to the description in this video, uh, I will leave a link to this Photoshop file. All right, and it'll look something like this. All right, this is the last video I did. Um, and right here, it says, here's the Board Ape Yacht Club Photoshop file, boom. You click on that, and it'll open up the Google Drive with the Photoshop file. Now, people get held up here, and they're like, oh, it just has one picture, CRISPR. What, what, what's the deal? I'm like, my God. Don't be a blockhead. You come up here to the right and you click the download button. That's it. Bing. Photoshop file. Okay. So now we have our uh, Photoshop file for this tutorial in your downloads folder. Okay. Stay with me now. All right. <clears throat> so the second thing that you're going to need to do after you've downloaded the Photoshop file that's in the description of this video then you want to go to github.com slash hashlips I'll leave the link in the description below my friend here has made another absolutely amazing script for the NFT space you'll go to repositories and then go down to uh, the second one here, Hashlips Art Engine PS Script. That's Photoshop Script. Click on that. And you can see over here he has uh, releases. Go ahead and click on releases. We're using version 1.0.0. And go ahead and download that zip file. Now we have the Photoshop Engine and we have the Photoshop Board Ape file. In our downloads folder okay stay with me here we go all right so okay so now that we have our files in our download folder let's go to your C Drive and I have created a folder on my C Drive called hash lips since I work with a lot of his repos so um, go. I created a Hashlips folder. I would suggest doing the same if you watch my tutorials as well. So I'm going into my Hashlips folder on my C drive that I created. And in here, I have four folders currently. Okay, but this is how the structure would work. <clears throat> so on my last tutorials, I, we used his art engine 1.1.2, right? And this is the downloaded folder i want to use this as my base folder to copy and create new folders for my projects which is in my art engine folder and in the art engine are the art engine projects biohackers the zombie bitsons right 
So that's how I organize it. And that way I don't um, ever override the project when I decide to make another project. So I would suggest creating your structure this way. So now he's got a new Photoshop engine. I've created, I've downloaded the Photoshop script main folder and I put it in my Hashlips folder on my C drive and I use that as my main folder to copy to create new projects. So in my Photoshop engine folder now, I have the new project that's gonna run the Photoshop script and the Photoshop uh, engine, art engine. And I titled right there at the end, I replaced the word main with the Board Ape Yacht Club, okay? So simple enough. So this is where all of the um, build files are going to be located, okay? If you go in here in your build folder, that's where the new images and the uh, metadata will be located, okay? The second thing that you need to do is put the Photoshop file of the monkey NFT in this folder, okay? So I've already done that. That's what you'll need to do. This file was in your downloads folder. You take the Photoshop file of the monkey, put it inside the folder of your project for the art engine, okay? Simple enough. All right, let's do it again from the top. C drive. I create a folder called Hashlips. Inside that folder is where you're going to put the download we just downloaded, the folder we just downloaded, the Hashlips Art Engine PS Script Main, okay? You're gonna wanna copy that, and I created a new folder. You don't have to, but you wanna, if you do, create a new folder and paste your project in here and rename it whatever you want for every single project. That way you don't override the data of that project, okay? Simple enough. Inside that folder, that's where you wanna put the Photoshop file that we just downloaded. Boom, right there inside this folder. Okay, that was complicated. I hope I straightened it out, my God. Anyways, once you do that, you can go ahead and open this file and that's what you're gonna get right out of the gate, okay?